Um, let's talk a little bit about humans and uh, long-term humans and star seeds. Now, in order for this, the whole reason why this place was created was to um, divide things into a dualistic and much, much more um, scenario, backdrop, so to speak, and uh, to experience things forgetting who you really are, the all that is, the one, the God. So for that, you had to have amnesia. That has taken a long time to get that done. And then the beings that, that have experienced that, what they've been doing for a long time in order to get, uh, to forget who they really are, there was the amnesia that made them feel really alone and uh, that made them fearful and defensive. And that is how you got to those lowest vibrations. So that's all a part of the game. So for a, a being to go from that existence back to unity consciousness, then what they've got to do is they've got to remember that they're all, that they, that, uh, they are part of the one. And they do that with non judgment and coming out of fear and being happier and happier. Uh, as they head back towards unity consciousness. So basically what they're going from is they're going from being alone to, or believing they are alone, back to remembering they're a part of the one thing, all it is. A starseed that is here uh, comes, and we are we come from most, most um, creations, most games, are, we don't, we don't have amnesia. We know exactly who we are. Uh, we know exactly what we're doing. We know exactly what everybody else is doing. Most of them are like that. So um, we don't have any problem with thinking unity consciousness and being one with all. Uh, star seeds have a lot more trouble uh, thinking individually. We want to do it for the good of the whole. But star seeds that have come here to help Gaia, they are in the vibration of of the human experience. So they are trajectorily on a creative path that is, is independent on their way to unity consciousness. Okay. So whereas a human's path to get from here to 5d and beyond is to remember that they are one with all that is that we are all one, a star seeds path is to accept the fact that for a while they're creating on their own to get to the fifth dimension where they are back to unity consciousness and do it together. You see, that's another reason why the human path and the star seed path is so different and where they will never get along in how that's done is because they're doing completely opposite things. A human is remembering again that they are one and a star seed is having to create on their own to get back to the one. Those are two diabolically different paths. Aside from the fact, of course, that we are, all of our paths are very, very unique unto themselves. But still, that general outlook, that big picture, so to, so to speak, of one path and the other path. So you want to encourage, or I want to encourage a human to remember that that person next to them is them. And any response that they have is a mirror of their own feelings, their own wants, desires, needs, hurts. Whereas a star seed, I'm going to say, no, no, push back away from that person next to you. Let them have their separate path. And these two messages are very difficult to give to people at the same time, especially when most people don't even know which one they are. So they don't know which one they're supposed to be doing. Are they supposed to be being independent and doing this on their own and going back to unity consciousness? Or are they trying to remember they're a part of the oneness and to merge with the oneness to unity consciousness? But these are both very, very different. Um, they're very different from where they're going even though they're both ending up at the same place because of their starting point. Their starting points are completely different. So the way that they're going to get to the same place will be very different. Okay. Hopefully that clarified some things. Alrighty then. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.